I want to give a shout out to White Lightning for sending me over the Firebolt. Yes, adults only. Let's check out what's inside the box. So, um, let's read. Yeah, take a minute. Check it out. Yeah. Let's open up the box, see what's inside. So, here you have the all in one unit. Yes, black and sleek. Extra glass, wipe off that dust. Let's take it out and have a closer look at it. Okay. USB charger. I can see that it has airflow, adjustable airflow on both sides, which is really cool. Alright, let's see what's under here. Hmm. What is that? Okay, there's no information on that. Warranty card. We got the user manual. Check that out if you go through it. Always important to check out your user manual just in case, you know, you need to be sure on certain things. Let's, all right, O rings, charger, the protecting thing that's a extra coil that is another mouthpiece. You can interchange them. I prefer the black one though. Let's take this apart and see what it's all about. Oops. Okay, put it back together. All right, look at that. Top filling. Sexy. Put it back together. Time to put some juice in this. Let's strip some in the coil so we don't get any dry hits. Put it back together. And yeah, make sure it's tight. I'm closing up the airflow. Take off the top cap and we're gonna fill it up. About success, you know I speak fluent. If you wanna change the world, all you do is do it. Gonna get what I deserve, gonna get what I ever burned. Now I know it's my time to take my turn. Trouble popping up, but I tell that shit to swerve. And I'm wood green gripping, going 50 around the curve. But I know it's about to ride, I know it's all mine. And I don't even care about the car that I drive, cause I own it, I own it, uh, uh, I own it. And if I had a jet, then you knew I would have flown it. Knocking down opponents, knocking down opponents. Taking out my camera, and I'm cherishing the moment, cause time. Thank y'all for sending this over with the juices. So I said I'm definitely going to review this because I like all in ones. I have a several of them. And I was like, okay. The winning selling point of this for me would be the 3000 milliamp battery. So, you know, you could be vape. depending on how you vape, the battery is going to last a long time. Um, the design of it is pretty strong, pretty sturdy. Now it may sound funny, but one of the things, this thing is long. It's long. I mean, I don't think you not. I wouldn't put any of my any vaping device in my pocket, but I'm just saying. I think it should be. This should be the size of the shit. Tank should be here. That's just my opinion. The shit is just. It's long. It looked like a pen. The feeling is great. It's made. It's sturdy. I like that. I like that it has an adjustable airflow on both sides. You got the adjustable airflow, which is pretty dope because some all-in-ones don't have that. The top fill is great as well. There was no leakage. Here I left it in my car, which I don't usually leave stuff leave my device in the car because it gets hot. Um, now, taste-wise, the coil that it comes with does it tell you how much? Let me go into the manual. I don't know what the. Nah, it just has it just says two atomizer coils, but it doesn't. Oh, okay. Well, the maximum resistance is 0.2 ohms, and the maximum wire is 60 watts. I do like all in ones where you don't really have to worry about the temperature, you know, worry about the wattage control, blah blah blah. You just put your coil in, but a bada bing, bada boom, and you vape. Um, the flavor is okay. If you were just coming in to the vaping, this would be a good starter for someone because for someone like me who, you know, have used more advanced equipment and comparing the flavor, I'd be like, ah, no thank you. And I've dealt with all in ones that the flavor is awesome. This one, ah, it's okay. It's okay. Because for me, I think all in ones, 
Oh well, for, for the person that just coming to vaping, okay, that may be their only device. Well, for me, sometimes you just want to pick something I'm not worried about the uh, and uh, uh, having to put a battery in or having to worry about you know a whole bunch of controls, you know, just blah 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 five times and put your juice in and go. Vape production is fine. Again, the flavor is okay. I have a van uh, it's a vanilla cream in there, so you're getting it. Of course, I believe, okay, if you drip it, it's going to be more flavorful. But for what it is, you know, I like that scale for one to five. I'm going to give it a four. Is it something that I would recommend? Yeah, I would. I don't know if you saw it was a green light. So, of course, when it's green, it's 100%. Your battery's 100%. When it's blue, it's 60%. When it's red, charge your shit. They got a lot of different protections on this little thing here. It has overcharger protection, short circuit protection, low voltage protection, low resistance protection, anti overheating protection, safety protection. So I definitely recommend this to someone who just starts vaping because there ain't a lot of shit you got to worry about. <laughs> I believe it is 2.5 mils because in looking in the notes it says do not fill the atomizer over 2.5 mils. So I believe that's what it is. I didn't even fill it all the way up when I was fill, you know, putting the juice in. You know, they just needed enough in there for testing wise. No dry hits. So that's how I feel about the fire bolt. The link is going to be down below where you can, I mean, if you're interested, where you can go and get one for yourself.